Hi, welcome to Remote Desktop Manager Getting Started for Teams. Uh, step six, create your users. At the moment, David, the administrator, is the only user of this data source. Now, in order to create users and assign rights, you must be administrator of not only RDM, but also of the underlying database. Let's create some more users. So let's go in administration, users, and the user management window, you'll find all the buttons in the toolbar to create, edit, delete, rename, or otherwise manage user. So we'll click on add users and create Ted, uh, who is part of the service desk team. In the general section, you'll need to enter the username and password of your user. If you're using integrated security, then the user must be selected from the directory. You'll then need to specify the user type, so you can choose between administrator, which should only be chosen for the administrator of the database, uh, read-only user, which only grants the view access to the user, restricted user, uh, which, you know, just select which rights to grant the user, or simply user, which grants basic rights to the user, like add, edit, and delete. In the information section, enter the name, email, and login email of your user. So let's do the same thing and I'll create Bill, another member of our service desk, and John, who is a member of our help desk. My whole team is now created and I'm ready for step seven, create your roles.